Welcome back to my animal education series. So today we are setting up another box turtle enclosure. So you guys have kept up with the channel recently, about a month ago I set up a box turtle enclosure for the same box turtle. So you may be wondering why I'm doing it again. Well I'm doing that because as I mentioned in that video, box turtles are very destructive. My box turtle, Yurtle specifically, is insanely destructive and has decided to remodel her enclosure multiple times to better uh, fit her needs, including unburying all the plants, killing multiple plants that I've put in there. I've put two or three different pothos plants in there, all of which have been killed by her. Uh, undug and flipped over her hide a couple of times, flipped over her water bowl, moved all of the substrate into the water bowl so I had to actually unbury it to even find it at one point. Um, she's very destructive and it's kind of a pain to have this turtle. This cage even looks semi-decent because within two hours this turtle just destroys it again. So today we're using excavator clay to make her a new hide. And basically, if you've never used excavator clay before, it's almost like concrete that is adhered to the glass, which is why we cleared all the dirt out of this so it can adhere to the glass and she can't move it out of the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a tree. We have plenty of tree bark over here that we can use. And sorry for the hair, I'm just looking down, it makes it kind of hard. But we're gonna make a tree right here in the corner. We're gonna put a uh, built-in pot right here for another tall plant. I have a palm that I bought from Walmart that we're gonna try to put in there. Cause it's tall and she can't walk on top of it and break it. So we have the built-in plant here. It's gonna kind of slope down this way. And then all of this area here will be a big cave for her to go into. We already measured how tall she is. She's just over three and a half inches. So we're gonna make it plenty of space for her to, uh, to fit in there, be able to turn around. And then as she grows a little bit bigger, we will have, we will accommodate for that as well. What we have done so far is we have used three bags of excavator clay to make this. Our original idea was uh, a tree and we realized that, that was going to be a lot more clay so we decided to settle on a stump which in my opinion is probably going to work out better because it gives Yurtle a nice flat spot to kind of lay out on because this turtle loves to climb and would always be on top of their hide. So this is a good idea because they can climb right up and sit up there as well go in the hide. So as you can see down here we decided to use styrofoam cups and plates. Um, and we use that because usually we would use uh, plastic water bottles or like the bottom of a milk jug something like that. And if you guys have ever tried to cut plastic it can sometimes leave a really sharp edge and we didn't want to do that because every time that we've done it before it takes forever to get every little bit of plastic out of the uh, cave and it's just a hassle for us 
and it's just not that fun. So we decided to experiment with styrofoam this time, and I'm gonna hope it goes well. But as you can see here, we went to about half the size of the cup. So this is just the entrance, and it tucks up really wide back here. A big thing with excavator clay is you have to make sure it's really thick or it could crack and break off. And the last thing we need is all of this essentially really heavy rock falling on the turtle when it's in there. So all of the roof is about two, two and a half inches thick. Another important thing that we've learned um, is to smoothen it all out once you've applied it. And that will prevent some cracking. Uh, you guys have ever watched a concrete before, they make sure that it's all smoothed out and even. And that prevents a lot of cracking. It's the same thing here. We put two little roots here, which also serve as kind of ramps for uh, Yertle. And then we put a big one in the back just in case those don't work for her. But our next step is what I'm really looking forward to, is we have a bunch of bark that we have accumulated um, over time, just from various projects and trees and things like that. And especially this piece right here, this is a really good one. It's got a lot of texture and moss uh, on it. So I think this will be really good for this tank. So what we're gonna do is while this is still soft, we're gonna place all this bark on here this is just a temporary spot i'm um, figuring that out later but we're gonna push it into the clay right there and then it's gonna uh, hard it into the clay and kind of be a permanent part of the structure Now that we put all the moss and the bark and coconut husk on this, the next step is to put in all the dirt and the water bowl and basically all the rest of the decor, which won't be too much after this point. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rest of the excavator clay that we have and try to make a way where Yertle can't knock this pot over. Her favorite thing to do is to uproot and knock over all of her plants. So my goal is to try to use a little bit of clay and make this not knock over a bowl. Pardon the terrible English, but that's the goal. So let's get started.
we have gone ahead and put all of the dirt and just palmetto leaves and stuff like that in here. And we didn't put as much dirt as I would like to initially because I still have to get into this cave and cut out all those cups. But we can't do that until at least 24 hours from now because we have to let uh, the clay plenty of time to dry. Because if you start taking out all the support before it's properly dried, it could collapse. And then we're doing this whole process all over again. And it's just a giant pain that I don't want to deal with. So we're going to give it at least 24 hours, maybe two days, uh, to fully harden up. And I can take those cups out. We can pull a lot more dirt in. And with that, I can't put the turtle in today either because you're being really destructive. will probably destroy this before it ever dries. So uh, she'll be living with one of my other turtles, which is not a big deal because they have pretty much the same tank. It has been a week since we filmed anything for this video. And I do apologize for the hat. I was having a bad hair day, so I'm just putting that on. Um, but the goal of this was to kind of make it look like a stump. It doesn't really look like a stump, but the yurtle here is really destructive. So we had to use this excavator clay and at least a hope that yurtle doesn't destroy it within the first week. Um, it did take longer than we expected it to dry, but, uh, nevertheless, after she destroyed another cage that we had, um, it's done. We're going to put her in here. We put in a bit more dirt. We filled this in. We have a piece of black construction paper on the back of the cave to block out some extra light. But we put water in her water bowl. I can't wait to clean all the dirt out of that tomorrow. Um, and we're all good to go. We're finally going to put her in here. I'll kind of aim her over this way. I also took a bunch of moss out of my aquarium uh, as extra enrichment. Um, we just had a bunch of this dry out because I had a bunch of this that was too much for the aquarium. So I took it out and... I'm just going to watch, see what she does and where she goes first. 